Hello and welcome to weekly strategic finance tips from the Startup Station. Today we're going to talk about key strategies that you can use to effectively manage the board of directors, right? And um, I think that what the important thing is to start talking about is what is the purpose of the board of directors, right? Like, why do you want to have them, right? And it's not just because you investors require it, right? I mean, it's one of the reasons, but there are also other reasons. And so what a good board of directors should do is to provide you with strategic guidance and oversight, help you evaluate the company performance, provide some disciplined frameworks around staying on the right, on the right track. It will um, have to approve all of the key company decisions, whether you want to merge with another company, enter into strategic partnership, expand into new markets, of course, go public or get acquired, et cetera. It will have to approve um, uh, all the key hires as well as approve their compensation. And in general, what they're supposed to do is to ensure that the company acts in a shareholder's best interests, right? And then you are one of the shareholders. Now, what um, their purpose is not and what they're not supposed to do, right, is to give you a carte blanche to do whatever you want without having some checks along the way. So they're not supposed to appease your ambition, so to blindly allow you uh, to go and do whatever you want or provide unconditional support for your vision. You really have to uh, earn their respect and earn their trust and be accountable for your decisions and make changes because if you decided to take somebody else's money, you've decided to take responsibility to treat this capital fairly, right? And to act uh, in the interest of returning this capital with the agreed upon return to the shareholders. So what happens along the way and why do people have a bad relationship with the board or like they're not sure what to do? And of course, it deals with uh, just human psychology, right? And it deals with how people communicate. And so there can be unmet expectations. You promise somebody the world, you don't deliver anything, everybody's unhappy. You're disappointed, they're disappointed, just a bad situation. You may not be honest with them about your challenges because you're afraid how they're going to perceive you, right? They may perceive you as weak or a failure and your own insecurities, they bleed into how you communicate with others and they poison the relationships around you. As a result, there can be a lack of trust between the management and the board when there's no transparency and uh, they don't really understand what's going on. They began to feel fears in terms of whether you would trust worthy executive, whether their investment is in good hands. Um, of course, there can be misalignment of incentives, right? So where you want to, let's say, do X and they don't consider that X to be good for the company. Uh, and um, the way how to manage it all, they may not be um, sufficient frameworks in place that will allow you to communicate effectively and to get decisions that you want um, fast, et cetera, right? To allow you to operate your company using the board as one of the tools instead of one of the obstacles that you have to overcome. So what do you do here, right? How do you address these issues? Well, you have to communicate clearly. Right, you have to um, own up to uh, whatever mistakes you make. You have to be clear about the company milestones. You have to be clear about the risks. You have to be clear about the path to get to those milestones and how you're going to measure success along the way. So that if things don't go as expected, you have uh, ample time to react. Or if they do go as expected, then you capitalize on your success. And these factors, when you're really clear about what you're doing, how you're going to get there, how much capital it's going to require, these factors will allow you to get everybody on the same page to align your interests with that of the board, right? To resolve any disagreements before money are spent, before you start doing something. And of course, you have to be honest, right? You have to be transparent because only by being honest and by taking responsibility for whatever happened, you can build trust, right? And when you build trust, you build understanding, you avoid misalignment, you avoid a lot of the issues that happen when communication breaks down. It's very much like in personal relationships too.
And of course, it helps if you build a personal relationship with the board members, because if you understand their personality, you understand how they think, what they value, what's important to them, you can use your arguments to um, build on those factors, on those personality traits in order for you to be able to communicate more effectively. It's like when you're working together with somebody for a long time and you know their weak points and strong points, you know what stresses them out, you know what doesn't stress them out, you know whether they're triggers, right? So if you learn about the triggers, and by triggers I mean fears of your board members, right, like what will make them worry, then you can avoid pressing your nose to uh, triggers, and you can communicate a lot more effectively. And of course, um, um, to make sure everything runs like a smooth machine, you have to review and refine your corporate governance policy, because then you're going to have a robust foundation on which you can build this beautiful relationship between you and every board member and use it as a supportive um, group of people, right? Your advisors, your um, like-minded uh, visionaries, right? They are there with you to take your company to the stars. And here you go. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please share with your friends and colleagues and other startups. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more very useful content and strategic financial tips next week. And follow us on social media. Every week we post a lot of really useful content and um, this can really help you move your business forward. See you next week.